divine because uh, through the ages of the, uh, the shore and the water have made adjustments as you experienced you just uh, kind of sense that, that if somebody put a pier or anything in there it, it's unnatural and uh, you want to know exactly what the effect has been. So I knew I must go way out because I saw something down there that I thought they built something out into the water. Well, uh, that last part, oh, half a mile, uh, I had to run, what do you call it, playing by ear. Uh, I would see a place down ahead where there was a great mass of white water I couldn't possibly run it. And I'd see over here where I could get past it. And I'd get past it. And then below me there'd be another mass. And I'd just work my way down through there. There was no way to find it in advance. You just, you just prayed to God that you, you'd find your way through. And I did. Then I went down Robinson Bay. <clears throat> I went down and uh, swung into Robinson Bay. And that was the end of it. That was the first half. The other half was to run the upper end from way up where the canal started. Oh, I'd better quit on this, but you, you that knowing... That was fascinating, area, really. You knowing the area. Uh, harder than this place I've just talked about. When I went out around the upper end of the canal, they wouldn't let me start. They wouldn't let me on to the uh, shore, onto the outside part of the canal. They didn't learn what I was up to. So I had to go up to Dickinson's Landing and go out. And here, a couple of miles down, were those terrific waves up at the upper end, you know, tremendous waves running across there for hundreds of feet, where the big steamer goes like this. Devils, devils. Double cellar was a place up there. And. Uh, the old Rapids Prince used to go down through yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I mean. And they would take the edge of the double cellar to so give the people a little bit of a roll. Well, when I saw those ahead, I knew I'd be scared. And uh, uh, I got cramps in my stomach. Terrific cramps in my stomach. And now I'm telling you the gospel truth. I can still remember it as it was yesterday. Uh, I knew that with those cramps in my stomach, I couldn't run it. I knew I had to cure those cramps, and I only had because uh, zip the water was going. And I started talking to myself. Why, you must enjoy this. For 50 years you wanted to be here. It's a beautiful day. Now, enjoy it. What's the use of being worried about it? You've wanted to be here, and here you are. Be happy about it. I cured those cramps just about when I had to. And beautiful. I worked my way down through. Just it worked perfectly. I'd go in when I needed to. Then I'd go out as far as I dared. And then I was in a position to maneuver these things. And... Uh, uh, turned out to be easier than the first one where I had to plunge through where I didn't know what to do. Well, all right now, I better quit. But